here we go again. Today is Sunday, January 28th, 2018, 2.58 p.m. You already know where I'm at. I'm on the move. Last night, 3 o'clock this morning, well, actually this morning, 3 o'clock this morning, and I already know who did it. That bitch, Nancy Devon, and that great infinity made me throw up. That honky bitch from Delaware still over there. That bitch ass nigga, Monica, Monica Devon, that cow bitch is still over there. And they got some other, some other FBI terrorist nigga over there driving a, a Nissan. Um, it's either Ultimo Max, most likely some a Nissan. Just stopped home to drop some stuff off. And um them bitches sitting over there fucking with my heart again. Causing me pain right here in the middle of my chest. Making it hard for me. Basically making me have a heart attack. That's basically what it is. They're making me have a heart attack. Making you know causing pain right in the center of my chest. Making it hard for me to breathe, you know, messing with my breathing. And of course, they make me cough whenever they feel like it. Cause me to have whatever kind of dreams they want me to have. I see, I told you. Those terrorist bitches using this weapon on me, my dreams no longer belong to me. It's no longer just random dreams that I may have for whatever reason. Now, is dreams about having sex with children, which those terrorist bitches been making me do just about every fucking night. You know, I was sitting at the library downloading some music, and those bitch ass motherfuckers kept making me cough, trying to make me throw up. Every day, this is what they do. <clears throat> And they're still fucking with my heart even as I speak. You know, I told you I wasn't going to put as many level readings up like I was. Now I'm going to put little mini updates like, I'm, like this one right here. If you're wondering why I'm down in the left hand corner of the screen. <clears throat> That's because I'm driving and the phone is attached to the dashboard. Velcro, of course. The phone is on the dashboard. I'm driving. So, see, I have I have not been able to be in my fucking house for an entire 24 hours because of that. For the past five years, I have been victimized, terrorized, and tortured by the very people that I'm supposed to report crimes to. And they're the ones committing the crimes against me. It's called harassment, assault with a deadly weapon, premeditated attempted murder, and conspiracy to commit murder. And because they're the United States government, they can waste your tax dollars and get away with it. They can do this and nobody cares. But guess what? Like I've been telling you, revenge, retaliation, revenge is a dish slow cooking for eight hours while you're at work. See them, them they got a whole bunch of <clears throat> they got a whole bunch of FBI bitches in my neighborhood now. As backup for them, for them bitches in that house, they got them as backup. They need that backup, since how they're using weapons on them. That um, that vitiligo bitch ass burnt nigga at thirty seven oh one driving that Nissan Leaf now. Like I told you, that that's the one that used to drive those um. He used to drive the the sidekick. That little Suzuki sidekick, and he used to drive that that black BMW with Maryland store tags. 
his bitch ass don't drive those no more. Now he's driving that Nissan Leaf. And you know where to go for the pictures. They got the FBI bitch in that Chevy Tahoe. Yeah, his bitch ass. Still over there, even as I speak. <coughs> and, um, and they got the FBI bitches that moved in, that they moved in across the street from me. The FBI bitches they moved in across the street from me at 3608. The people that used to live, <laughs> people that used to live there, were kicked out. And I'm saying kicked out because FBI contact the landlord. However, now either they bought that house. And move that. You move them terrorist bitch ass motherfuckers up in there. Or they're renting it and they, they contact the landlord and told the landlord not to renew their um not to continue renting to them. Now, they're forcing people out of their house just so they can continue to harass me. See, this is what when you attack somebody. Your bitch ass got to get all scared because you don't know who I'm talking to and you don't know what's going to happen or, or when it's coming. But guess what? I won't be going through another, I will not be going through another summer of this. That you can believe. Stay tuned. I'll keep you updated.